have rather bravely asked for something other than clothes videos. So today I am going to do a vlog. Yes, the vlogging vibe has hit me and I thought, yeah, let's just go for it again. I did do vlogs in the past, I have done them. Let's try again, let's try again with a vlog. So first thing, it's a Sunday morning. I am having toast for breakfast. I'm gonna have toast and marmalade because that is my thing on a Sunday. Midweek, because um, also you wanna know what I'm eating in a day. Midweek, I eat overnight oats. Weekends, I like to have toast and marmalade, it's my treat. I've had to cut down to one slice of toast though, because um, the weight's been creeping up. So uh, one slice of toast and some marmalade. <laughs> Right, just gonna pop to town before our LD starts. Um, I need to, I, well, I, I want to, there's nothing I need to. I, yes, I do. I need to get some batteries into two watches that have the batteries just gone. Um, so I need to go and get that done before LD starts. And I also want to uh, little, go, and, go and browse around Marks and Spencers again. I'll take you with me. And also pop into Accessorize again. I did a few weeks ago. I really enjoyed looking around both stores and got a few bits. Um, I'm gonna do it again and see what I can find. See if I can find, I didn't get anything Marks and Spencers last time. Let's see if I can this time. Let's see if I see anything I like. I'll take you with me. Um, and I just wanna go into Accessorize again and show you the Z range that I, I really like in there. So uh, let's go there now. I like those PJs. Oh, look at those. Pajamas. Yeah, that says it all, doesn't it? Do we need truffles? Cozy slippers. Beautiful. Just not going anywhere to wear something like that these days. I've got a few of these slip-ons and they're very comfortable. I've got a couple of pairs, red and a creamy one. Nice white trainers if you're looking for some white trainers. And the leopard print's still in stock. I like that, very nice. And that's nice as well. Burgundy, office wear, not going to an office. Nice dress, bit jewelsy. Jeggings still around. My sweaters, I like both of these. I've got a mustard one so I couldn't get that. And I've got striped sweaters as well, so I have no need, but very nice, very nice, I like them. Party trousers. And no one's going to be going anywhere. Nice cardigan. Popular colour at the moment. And pink. But that's a nice basic crew neck cardigan. I was talking about crew neck cardigans recently. I do like crew neck cardigans. Actually, to be honest, I'm quite tempted with that. Some really nice things here. Is it earrings I'm interested in? it's the morning after the night before yeah that's right and there's not going to be many of those in November I can tell you we had to bring forward some because we're going into LD had to bring forward some um a, a family event we had a, a, a one of our daughter's birthday we were going to have a get together in the garden social distancing on Thursday well Thursday's obviously LD now so we brought it forward and we did it last night and we had a lovely time sitting outside we had a fire going near us we had um candles out we had food we had dominoes we had um drink and we had a really good time just chatting out there in blankets and pulling and hats and up sweaters and our blankets and a fire going with the barbecue going as well to keep us warm and uh yeah it was a cozy out in the frost night anyway today's the morning after the night before i'm gonna go and clear up look that one's still going goodness that's um, a battery candle I'll turn that off before we've wasted the battery. That's been going all night. Funny it wasn't going last night. Ah, oh, must have been a timer or something, so we've disturbed it. That's what it is, probably. Anyway, yeah, real candles here, but that's just a battery one. Yeah. So, uh, all the um, glasses and cups and plates and everything has been removed. The fire's gone. We had the fire here. It's gone up to the bottom of the garden again over there. John's already done that this morning. Um... So all that remains for me to do, actually, is clear up the candles and uh, take in this mat, give it a wipe down, turn off that electric, that battery candle. These are Yankee candles. I got them as a set from TS3 and they come every quarter, big package. I'll tell you what scent these were, but I, I got a, speci a specific autumn scent um, to go out here last night. So these are the uh, Voltaire's and then you've got the little um, tea lights. Yeah, there's, there's some more um, of Voltaire's as well. So Voltaire's around the table, and she lights too. This big candle here, that's not Yankee. But um, yeah, I will tell you what 
what these were. Here they are. It's warm and cosy. That's the scent. I thought that would look. The picture's even got someone around the fire. I thought that would be absolutely ideal for the for the night, and it was. It was. Can you see this new addition? There it is. There. That's a new addition to my lounge. Can you see this? Can you see this? I'll show you close up in a minute. But um, yeah, I'll tell you the story of this. There's a lady who lives locally, and um, we're in the Brit in Britain, we're not one for decorating for fall, and we don't put um, or spring. We decorate for Christmas. We decorate sometimes for Easter and um, Halloween. And I really admire the American way of doing their port, you know, doing the porches and so on. I love that, you know. And I'm seeing more around here, people putting pumpkins and that kind of thing out and doing a bit of decor for, for Halloween. But I do like this idea of changing up your inter in internal and external decoration and that the, the American culture favours. Now, it happens that there's a lady who lives locally to me. Um, she saw how uh, a lot of, um, there are a lot of wreaths uh, made and used for decor, porch decor and internal decor in the States. And there's nobody in the UK, you know, we just don't do that. And that's not really commonly available in the UK. So she, she um, looked at a load of uh, YouTube tutorials from the States on how to make these and then started a business. So she now makes seasonal reads. And um, they're not that, I, they're a little bit expensive, but I think you, you get what you pay for, really. Anyway, I ordered one from her. 60 pound it and it's an investment i'm going to use it again and again every autumn but she delivered it last night while we were out in the back having our own little party but she she you know her husband left it on the doorstep for us so um opened it up and it's absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i'm so pleased with it so i've put it here in the uk if we put one outside the rain could get to it the wind it could be could be taken from your door knocker you know and I don't want to lose it that way. So I put it up inside to make this tiny little, tiny little autumnal arrangement here for, for, the, for the autumn. So look, I've got a bit of an American style decor going on here. And I'll give you her details down below. But she's, um, she's on Instagram uh, as um, Shankland and Stowe. So you can find her that way. Find her that way. Um, and then there's a link through to her website. But she sells on Etsy. And uh, I'm just so pleased with it. So, yeah, yeah, that cost me £60. And I think that is going to be a, a good addition to my internal decor in years to come. Well, this is a very slow vlog because it's a week later. Yep, a week later. Um, and uh, we've come out for a walk. We decided we were going to... We knew where we were going to go. Yeah, we did. We did. But we couldn't park there. So headed to somewhere else we could go for a walk and then I had to pull in the side of the road to let a car pass just by a sign to a footpath and we thought well this is a parking bay so we've come out now stopped the car got out gone down the footpath never walked here before yeah, so this so is good. going to be exci exciting look there's a sty there anyway yes so come and explore so first obstacle is a sty well, that's gonna be fun day and look at him look at the red relaxer cat there look i'm gonna throw a piece of paper i bet he won't disturb there look not interested whatsoever not interested he spent the night snuggled up to me last night he's had his breakfast he's come back there's something i want to show you i want to show you what uh, we put up at the weekend on the wall in the kitchen right just let the dog out first and then i will um show you what we put up on the wall there you go luna out you go right so what we put up is this look 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 a fire extinguisher isn't that useful? We should have had one before, but it just occurred to me um, that we didn't have one and we really needed one. So John put that up there at the weekend. He was originally going to put it up here. 
and put two holes in the wall. But I would never have been able to reach that across the counter. So what good would that have been? None whatsoever. So now we've moved cheese boards there and he's going to have to sand that down where he's filled the holes back up again and uh, paint it. But yeah, cheese boards are hanging there now, which were around here where the fire extinguisher is now is. Anyway, that works. That works. So I thought I'd show you guys my little office. This is the dining room. And so when I do my lookbooks and I say I'm, I'm, I'm going off into that room, this is the room. So this is my setup for work. And um, I just thought I would show you my, when I was working in the office, I used to get a Gray's box delivered to the office. One of these, you know, I used to uh, buy it and it comes with four snacks inside. Anyway, but yeah, so it's delivered to the office. And um, once I started working from home, I had it redirected. So I've actually you know, changed my order so it's de delivered to my home. And every now and then they pile up and I end up um, cancelling my order or suspending it for a few weeks. But yeah, so you get four little snacks inside and um, you go on to a menu and you select the sort of things you like and so on. And um, whether you want it to be low calorie or high calorie or... Um, not in high calorie, normal, normal calorie, or you can have a slim version. And uh, so I've got for the slim version. Um, I suppose, I mean, I really do like, I did like the concept, you know, you get four snacks and that would last me five days, sort of um, nibbling it uh, in the office. Um, and the same at home. But the, my, my problem with it is it's quite expensive, works about four pound a week for four snacks, that's a pound of snacks, that's expensive, for one thing. And for an office, maybe that is, that if you're working in the office, maybe that's great because that's your only, maybe that's your only snacks. Um, at home, obviously you've got a packet of biscuits, you've got crisps, whatever you've got at home. So it's not necessarily um, economical at home. And I was thinking about cancelling it. Um, so economy, yeah, not so great at home. The other thing is it does use up a lot of plastic because you've got a, a container like this that's single use plastic for each snack. So that's the other thing that makes But I've just tried the latest snack. They've never sent this one before. Salted chocolate crunch creations. I tell you what, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I do love like that um, sweet and sour combination of salt and salt and sweet. Um, and so salted chocolate caramel. It's gorgeous. It's almost enough, almost enough to make me change my mind and not cancel it. But um I think I will cancel it because I really don't need to have four packs of plastic sent to me every week and uh, a pound of snack. I mean, you know, it's like there's two biscuits in there and that's a pound. That's expensive, you know. Whereas I'm at home now. I will, if I wanted biscuits, I've got, I could have packets of biscuits in the kitchen cupboard. So um, if you're in the office, I think you may, you know, this might be something worth, worth exploring. But for me, I think, yeah, I'm going to cancel it now. Anyway, I have really enjoyed having Grey's over the years. I've probably had it for about four or five years now. Really enjoyed it, but it's time to say goodbye. However much I like that salted caramel crunch. Yeah, so, no, it's not salted caramel. So, salted chocolate crunch creation. However much I like that, I think it's time to say goodbye because it's an expensive option for snacks. And I also get a Degusta box now anyway, which is has quite a lot of snacks in it. So, um, you know, that's once a month, a big box. I think this is, uh, that's more economic than this. The greys, but I thought it was worth showing you just in case, just in case it's, you know, it's something that's going to float your boat. Anyway, yeah, so this is my working arrangement and um, I'm going to put those away, otherwise I'll just eat them all. Especially the salted, chocolate, crunchy, caramelly, what's the names? Um, and, uh, Got on with work. And I know some of you wanted what I eat in a day. It's lunchtime. I have decided I am having some leftovers. Well, I haven't decided. I am having some leftovers. I'm having leftovers from yesterday's supper. So this is, um, I don't know, tofu stir fry with some noodles. Um, yeah, small bowl. And uh, that is my lunch. It's typically what I have at lunchtime is leftovers from my previous night's supper. Welcome to my lunch hour. <laughs> this doesn't look very good, does it? But what I wanted to show you was actually what came in the post today. It was this, it was this. This came in the post today and it's a um, Silent Pool uh, New Gin Rare Citrus Gin. Now the reason I want to show you is because they're bottles, Silent Pool's bottles. I don't know if you're one, if you're one for collecting bottles and then light, using them for candles and so on. Silent Pool bottles are beautiful. Look, look at that one. And we've got a light in this one that we use for 
you know, if we're, if we're you know, it's table decor. If we're, um, you know, if we're entertaining when we're allowed to entertain. So isn't that beautiful? And they, so they sell the lights that go in the bottles for afterwards so you can keep the bottle, which is what we've got there. Now, John noticed that they've actually got a new gin out, as I've mentioned here. And it's the uh, it's a citrus one, but it's got a different colour bottle. So not only can I enjoy the gin, but I can also use a stopper light that they also sell and light up the bottle. And I've got a matching, sort of matching pair, different colours, but I've got another another bottle um, that I can light up and have out, out. So I just thought you might be interested if you are one for collecting bottles and lighting them up, you might want to explore Silent Pool. But not only that, they've also got a glass that goes with it. So bought the glass too. And that I will be enjoying in the summer. I'll enjoy this in this in the summer, I can tell you. Anyway, that's um now I'm gonna have a cup of tea, get on with work, and just by the way, it's Tuesday. It's well, there's another day, another dollar. But anyway, another lunchtime. Um, and I want to talk to you appropriately about supper last night because I've, um, obviously, uh, some of you want to know about what I eat. Anyway, yesterday, John cooked supper and it was delicious. And he got the recipe from the Slimming World um, Take 5 book. So if you've got this book, but also Slimming World recipes are online. Now, the, the design... This book is designed that you, there's only, each recipe only has about five ingredients. So it's, so it's very easy, very brilliant um, concept. But the flavors in this particular recipe, so just five up five ingredients, so it was absolutely wonderful. Here, though, John did add, add mushrooms, but that's not, that was just out of it for interest, really. But you just, um, for four people, it's two oranges, four pork loin chops or pork loin steaks, green beans, Peri peri or peri 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 seasoning, and some uh, salad leaves. Now, um, what you what you do is, or John used peri 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 sauce rather than um, a paste or se seasoning. You can buy a jar of peri peri sauce. He used peri peri sauce. You marinate the um, the pork for twenty four hours in that sauce, and then cook it with a sauce on. Um, cook it. Serve it then on top of green beans, which are served on top of a bed of lettuce and orange segments. And the flavours of the orange along with the piri piri sauce was phenomenal. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. So give that a try if you're, if you're into sort of slightly spicy food, because it was just so, apart from marinating for 24 hours, it was so easy other than that and so flavoursome. And you could do that with any meat. It doesn't have to be... Yeah, it doesn't have to be pork, does it? You could do it with chicken, you could do it with lots of other different meats. Anyway, so that was that was supper last night. And I just had um uh because he cooked four um for uh, lamb um pork, four pork steaks. We just had another one for lunch today. But tonight I've actually got a dinner party. I've got a virtual dinner party. Um yeah, it's for um it's a sort of the professional work association I belong to for work, and uh, it's a black tie do over Zoom. So um they sent a hamper, not of a full full of full of meal, no, 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 but um, I'm wearing evening dress. I'm gonna wear um, a dress of my mother's, I thought. I'd wear a dress of my mother's. And so um I'll show you a bit about that later on. But the the hamper contains it's very quite a generous little hamper actually. It's not um not you know, not not a full on meal. It was it's cheese and biscuits. So there's um, a round of cheese. There's also a lovely pack of um, Peter's Yard biscuits here to go with the cheese. And then other than that, there's a cocktail which I'm going to put in the fridge. And this is um, locked. It's called Lockdown Liquor and Company Pepino cocktail. And this one has got in it. Uh, what does it say? It's um, I think oh, it's gin and cucumber. That's right. It's gin, cucumber, mint, lime, and a sugar syrup in that one. Then choice of wine. I have got a red wine. This is a mini bottle. It's only um, three seven five mil. So you know, it's not a full bottle. This is. There's my hand. It's that's the size of the bottle. 
So these are small bottles, not individuals, you know, but they're enough for two glasses, I suppose, and a white. So I've got choices. So we start the evening with a cocktail when we're in the um, in the sort of um, cocktail lounge bit before we go into dinner. There's an after dinner speaker as well. I think we've got Louis, Louis Theroux is the, is the speaker while we're, we're while we're sitting there eating our um, biscuits and cheese and drinking our red wine. Um, and also I've got a little box here I haven't opened it up at all and I believe this is probably chocolates for afterwards so I just need coffee I have some coffee and um, I'll have a light supper tonight so as I can sit and eat cheese and biscuits drink some wine have my cocktail to start with in my evening dress here in front of the computer screen that's going to be rather exciting isn't it it's going to be rather exciting my plan is to wear this dress this was my mum's and uh, yeah, it's a long dress, so hopefully it will fit me. I remember her wearing that. I remember her wearing it when she when I was a child. So that is about 50 years old. So I am sitting here waiting for it to start my dinner. I'm wearing my mum's dress and uh, or, you know, she she died a year and a half ago. Um, but I remember her wearing this dress when I was about 10 or younger. And she would go off to parties. And I always wanted to see her, what she was wearing before she went. She was often wearing this in the 1970s. Anyway, so I thought I'd wear this tonight. Um, I've got my biscuits and my cheese. This, this is the cheese. So I've got to cut that open. And I've got a few biscuits. I've lit myself a candle. A candle here. This is one that came in the box of Starbucks last year. It's starry night. I love this candle. It's just such a strong smell. Um, I've got my glasses ready. So I've got... A got glass ready for the wine. I've got a glass ready for my cocktail. I'm online here, ready to start my networking and having a chat with people I know and so on when we uh, go to have our cocktails. So, um, yes, yeah, should be a fun evening. It should be a fun evening.